our company's name is Micron Inc. Well, 18, Team 3. My name is Richard De La Rosa, and I'm CEO of this company. My name is Juan Sudar, and I am the Vice President of Sales and Marketing. My name is Daisy Maris, and I'm the Chief Financial Officer. I'm Colleague Stone Lucas, and I'm the Treasurer. My name is Angelica Garcia, and I'm the President of Human Resources. My name is Bayet, I'm President of Production Planning. And I'm Jen Behrens, President of Public Affairs and Communications. My name is Juan Sudaga, and I'm going to be talking about actual resource and performance target. Uh, the company's main focus was uh, net income, unit production costs, and market share, and our secondary objectives were stock price, return on assets, and return on equity. The reason why the company chose these three objectives as being more important it is because that way the company can show a more profitable um, aspect and as well as um, target a bigger, a, a bigger market. Um, however, as you can see, during the, um, dur during the year three, the company had a downturn in production and the company wasn't able to generate as much, in as much net income as we expected and as well as uh, we were expecting to um, expecting a higher stock price, but unfortunately we maintain pretty much the same level throughout the years. Uh, the company um, was expecting to have a 2.5 million and 3.5 million, 3.9 million on year six, while we only perform in year five, 84,000, and we produce a negative debt, a debt receipt of 544,000. Our unit production costs had actually came pretty close. On year six, five, our target was 4.75. We came close to 5.06. Um, it was very close. This is due because ma mainly our products were outsourced to Pandal. Um, our market share, we had a good, um, we predicted on year five that our market share was going to be 23.3%. We came pretty close to 21.53%. However, you can notice that in year six, 24.4% um, start, was targeted, but we only came close to 19.11%. One of the aspects that we uh, think this actually happened was because the company was behind two production models, um, which le left us in a big disadvantage. Um, our return on assets, on year five, we were expecting to earn at least four cents for every dollar, but instead the company was actually generating less than half of a cent. Um, like I said earlier, because um, the company was behind two models, we were not able to use uh, our assets the way we were, the company was expected. On year six, the company actually generated two, almost three cents of uh, deficit, um, which we were not expecting. Um, Hi, I'm Quick Stenerkes, and I'll be talking about the marketing function of my company. In our product price, we decided to increase it in quarter one, year five, about $11, but all throughout year five, we decided to decrease it about $10 because we had an older model. Yet again, in year six, we decided to increase it again by Eleven dollars, since but it was still or lower from other competing companies, since we still had an order model in that year. We originally had to hire more salespeople, but one from one more from each area. But due to budget constraint, we decided to hire only at a minimum. In our salary level, we decided to keep our level at 3,000 from all, from all the regions in those areas since we had low cash reserves in our company. In our commissions rate, it, our plan dropped about 0.02 in year 5 and in year 6 it dropped about 0.06 we wanted to distribute the budget in other areas. Our, 
our, our adversity spending was also greatly reduced in year five. And about a hundred dollars from our plan and in year six, it was also reduced about two hundred dollars from each of those areas. This was the cost of our low market share in, in those two years. In our unit sales, it also decreased about 40 to 100 units from each of those regions. This is due to the low inventory which ultimately led, also led to low sales. I, tried, I will introduce you guys a production plan of our company. First of all, the research and development. Are, we spent a lot of money on research and development to stay ahead of the technology. That's why in year five, we spent more than we planned. But end of the year five, we know that we are still lagged behind. So year six, we double our expense on research and development. So we catch up with technology just one step behind from our competitors. And for training expense, we believe that our training is a very important part for the businesses. So we spent more than we planned in year five and year six. Inventory is a part of the production plan. In year five, we produced more than we planned because of the market demand. For year six, we produced less than we planned. The main reason is we don't want to uh, end up with too much inventory in the stock. Same thing, storage expense reflect the inventory. So year five, we got a more storage expense. Year six, year six is significantly lower down. For so production line, we have a less than we plan because we eliminate some of the production line in our overseas production plan. So right here, in year five and years, uh, year five domestic and year five overseas are not that much different, but in year six, domestic is more than overseas because we eliminate the uh, lines in overseas. For the bank loan, uh, we don't want to spend on interest expense, so we don't have plan to to establish any loan from any banks. And we got our the CDs are as we planned. Actually, year six is more than uh, we planned. For year five, it's about the same. For the stock, year five, for the bond, uh, we already issued the 6,000 bond for each year. Uh, 6,000 bond for year five is still the same. For the stock, we have 11 million in year five. Year six is only 10 million in year six to uh, we try to raise our stock price. Dividends. Uh, we plan to uh, issue the dividends at the end of the year 7.